politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the Buzz UG this Sunday morning. How are you doing today? I hope everything is moving on so good for you. And of course, I'm coming to you with the biggest stories uh, making headlines in uh, the country. My name is uh, Melad Zmilo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the government of Uganda is set to announce the appointment of a prominent Ugandan journalist, Charles Odongtho, as the new advisor and the head of communications at the office of the Prime Minister. Charles replaces a gentleman called uh, Julius Mchunguzi. Odongtho's appointment comes at a time the office of the Prime Minister is grappling with bad publicity arising from corruption scandals, including the latest being theft of iron sheets meant for the people of Karamoja. Uh, you remember very well, some time back, this gentleman was working on NBS TV. Yes, a very big congratulations to him. Now, comedian and TikToker Sami Manini has apologized to all Ugandans and his supporters after he appeared in a viral DW video which confirmed him a member of uh, the LGBTQ community. Uh, the video has been circulating so big time on different social media platforms and even yesterday he was trending number one on Twitter. However, Sami, in a letter statement on his Twitter account, he says uh, the video was recorded a long time ago in 2016 after approached by a DW journalist who requested him to act and uh, be recorded in a documentary upon several promises. Uh, Sami says he has never been a member of LGBTQ community and he will never be one. Uh, basically, whatever in the video wasn't real. It was just acted for money and he says he changed from such unlawful ways of looking for money. Now, NBS TV's entertainment journalist Isaac Kawadiakeis survived being punched on stage by artist Alien Skin. According to the video circulating on social media, Kays is seen pleading with Alien Skin not to embarrass him in front of the masses. It should be remembered that many times, Kays on NBS TV has said Alien Skin will not succeed in this entertainment industry with the kind of vibe he has and the type of music he does, something that many people believe might have pissed off Alien Skin to an extent of almost punching him on stage. Well, we don't know how this is going to end, but of course that is the latest coming in from Kawalia's camp. Now, Kawempe North Member of Parliament, the Honorable Segirinya Muhammad, has revealed that doctors have discovered he's suffering from skin cancer, liver, and high blood pressure. Segirinya, with too much pain, revealed this information through his social media platforms. We are yet to know whether he will be taken to the outside countries for further treatment or not. And of course, I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. We wish him a very quick recovery. <music> Well, musician Evelyn Love yesterday announced through her social media platforms that she has adopted a young boy of seven months named Tadius. Uh, it should be recalled that Evelyn Love is still battling her kidney illness and it's a blessing to see that she is also able to support other people in need considering the situation she's in. She has called on all people to start calling her Mommy Tadius. Well, blessings upon you, Mommy Tadius. <laughs> Well, finally, a popular Makere University student, Brian Ankura, uh, commonly known as Mulugwala, died in a nasty motor accident yesterday in Jinja. According to sources, uh, Mulugwala was doing bachelor's degree in social sciences. He will be buried today in Chidera Parish in uh, Tororo District. May he so rest in peace. Well, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, uh, the comment section is very open for you. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now.
audio jungle.